All right, class, pay attention. Your assignment for tomorrow will be to finish reading chapter 12. Any questions? Oh, one more thing. Will Kevin Bayless see me after class? Who's that? Some new kid. Kevin, did you hear me? S sir? See me after class and I'll assign you a book. Well, how'd you enjoy your first day with us? Okay, I guess. Excuse me, could you tell me where to meet bus 77? This way. You know, I never had to ride a bus before. Oh, yeah? Hey, Greg! to be a stranger in a new place. It just takes time to get to know people, Kevin. Hey, how'd you know my name? Uh, oops. I'll get it for you. Yuck. I've never seen so much chewing gum in my life. Last stop, buddy. Which way did that girl go? You know, the one with curly hair, white slacks. Curly hair? Yeah. White slacks? Yeah. Listen, buddy. No little curly-haired girl with white slacks just got off this bus. Tracy Donnelly. I wish I knew where the movers put my spice rack. You never guess where I found the toaster? In the attic. Now why on earth would they put the toaster in the attic? Well, I'll just have to buy some garlic salt. Your father simply cannot live without it. Perfect. Another day like this and I'm going back to Oregon. Can I go with you? Honey, lend me your pencil for a second. These must be all over the house. I found a whole pack in that old desk the Donnellys left behind. You did? You mean the Donnellys used to live here? Yes. The lady next door told me they moved away right after the accident. Too many painful memories, I guess. What accident? Why, their daughter, Tracy, died last year in a school bus accident. See you, Mr. Caldwell. See you tomorrow, kid. Well, that's what we say, you know. Go say boo! Cut it out, will ya? Are you crazy? No, but the driver's gonna think you are if you don't keep your voice down. He can't see me. He already thinks I'm nuts, thanks to you. Listen, buddy, no curly-haired girl in white slacks just got off this bus. Well, what do you want me to do? Walk up and say, hi, Mr. Caldwell, haven't seen you for a while. Not while the bus is moving. You might lose control and send us flying into one of those... Oh, I'm sorry. I wouldn't want that to happen again. You're wondering what did happen, aren't you? No. Liar. Well, I didn't get out. I didn't get out soon enough after the crash. There was this fire. I'm sorry. Will you stop saying I'm sorry? I don't need that. It's not why I'm here. Well, why are you here? And why do you come to me? Why not someone you used to know? Come on. It'd scare them out of their wits. 
Besides, you and I have something in common. Newcomers and all. Here's your stop. Oh, and uh, here's your pencil. Keep it. Plus, I have something else for you. Homework. Take care. When will I see you again? Tracy! And for those of you who aren't at Corvallis Junior High tonight, you won't have to miss out on all the fun. We're going live right now to the fifth annual Battle of the Bands. First up, a great new group from the area, The Scene. Thank you very much. Tracy? All right, all right already. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Each school district and private school within the state shall ensure through a minimum of two drills each school year that every student is familiar with school bus emergency procedures and equipment. Okay. Types of evacuations. First, students exit through the front door. Second, students exit through the rear emergency door. Important, to avoid hitting your head, lean forward before you jump, and as you jump, flex your knees to cushion your landing. Well, that makes sense. And third, students in the front half of the bus exit through the front door and students in the back half of the bus exit through the rear emergency door. If those exits are blocked, front, back, and side windows can be forced out with the bus's fire axe or wrecking bar. Huh. I didn't know that. Emergency equipment. In the case of evacuation, know where the following items are located. Fire axe or wrecking bar, first aid kit, fire extinguisher. The precise location of this equipment may vary from bus to bus, but in all cases it will be in the driver's compartment. Okay, after evacuation. Always move to a safe area at least 100 feet away from the bus and remain there in a group. Well, look who finally decided to show her face. What? Oh, never mind. I am so embarrassed. I told you you were the only one that could see me. Now that you're here, I can thank you in person for messing up my workout the other night. Oh, boys and their stupid weights. You were better off reading the handout. What is so important about this dumb handout? It is not a dumb handout, and you better know what's in it because you're going to need it. How do you know? Hey, look what that pickup's doing.
Get them quiet. Hey, everybody. Louder. Hey, cool it. That's better. Now let's clear this aisle so we can get out the emergency door. Better see if anyone's hurt. Everybody up there okay? Andrew's cut, and the driver's unconscious. Do something, man. Grab the first aid kit and bring her back. Okay, let's get out of here. This is it, except for the bus driver. You better do something about him real fast. Kevin, the first aid kits on some buses have ammonia capsules. Let me see that a minute. Great. Okay, help her out and get far away from here. Hey, take it easy. What do you mean, take it easy? Every time someone jumps out, there's less weight to balance the front. This bus is going to nose dive any second. Go. Come on, let's get out of here. Mr. Caldwell? Oh, come on, we're getting out of here. Okay? Yeah, I'm okay. My clarinet! Jenny, don't Jenny, go down there! Go. Where do you think you're going? But my clarinet's in there. If I don't have it tomorrow, I'm gonna be in big trouble with Mr. Newhart. You're gonna be in big trouble with me unless you get back up there and fast. Tracy, where's Tracy? Stay back. Hey, you saved our lives. You're a hero. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Tracy. Tracy. Come on, Kevin. It's over. <laughs>